My name is Wendy Parker and we raise primarily heritage breed pigs um, on pasture, all natural, for your dinner table. Wendy operates Heritage Farms Northwest with her husband Jim and son Daniel. They raise red wattle hogs and American guinea hogs. What we do starts um, when the pig is born, the very first day they're born. They are generally out the door and in the pasture um, within 24 hours. They just go out and it's, it's pretty cool to see. They're doing what pigs do from the second they're born, um, digging, in the, digging in the dirt and playing in the mud wallows. While the piglets get acclimated to life on the farm, the finishing herd is kept in a separate area. They have plenty of space to roam, foraging on grasses and roots. The Parkers also feed the pigs locally grown hay and wheat. The finishing herd, they're just doing what they can to keep cool and eating and growing and getting ready to go to market. We've got hogs coming out of the fields at market size pretty much every week, every other week, um, you know, heading off to their ultimate purpose, which is uh, someone's dinner table. In addition to selling meat products, the Parkers sell wiener pigs to other growers. They also sell a small number of red wattle pigs for breeding. The breeding stock, we are exceptionally picky about what we sell for breeding stock because this is a rare and critically endangered breed. Um, many people think that Anything that hits the ground should be bred because it's, you know, small numbers. We've got to bring the numbers and the breed up and save the breed. Um, it's actually quite the opposite because it is a rare breed and because each individual hog will have such a huge impact when you're working within such a small population. Um, it's even more important that what, you, what you're breeding is, is the top, the top, the best that it can be. Um, so we may put 150 piglets on the ground with spring litters and out of that, you know, possibly either retain three for breeding or sell, sell three for breeding. I mean, we're, we're that picky. I was a horse person for my whole life as a horse person and always figured I would be. Uh, when I moved to this property, it suddenly became important to me to raise my own, you know, my own meat. I'm in the country. I'm, you know, living on this great property. I should be growing my own, you know, my own food. So I bought a cow and, um, well, one cow turned into two cows. Uh, bought a few chickens, bought a turkey, and I really had it in my mind that I needed a pig. Um, so about the same time I decided I needed a pig, uh, my husband read a news article about these old heritage breeds that were in danger of, of you know, dying out because people weren't using them uh, for their, you know, intended purposes, which is to eat. And um, also prominent in that article was the fact that they just plain old taste better. So we figured if we were going to have a pig, um, why not have a rare breed that, you know, had exceptional taste and, and, and good qualities. So we went on a, a bit of a mission to, you know, bring red wattles to Oregon, which uh, involved flying them out because um, there are no, no red wattles on the West Coast when we started. And one pig turned into two pigs. Uh, then we, you know, found a few more older breeding stock and we looked out the window and realized that, you know, hey, we've got the, the largest herd of red wattles on the West Coast. Let's do something with it. Um, we enjoy them. The animals are great. Uh, everybody on the farm loves the pigs. You know, so when I say I was a horse person, what I didn't know is that I really am a pig person. Um, prefer the pigs any day over a horse. Um, and why we do what we do the way we do it is because if you can't treat the animals well and, and ethically and give them the life they were meant to lead, um, it's just not worth doing. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't lock them up in a barn. You couldn't pay me to put one in a farrowing crate. Um, in fact, we have two old sows that we we say we rescued them from a confinement farm in, in Iowa and, and, you know, they'd never seen grass. Um, and, and now they're, you know, the two prima donnas of the property. They, you know, they own the place. <laughs> um, you know, so, so why we do what we do, it's, it's the right thing to do and, and it feels good doing it.
For more information, visit heritagefarmsnw.com.